Hey there everybody, it's Brian from Brian's Kitchen. Thanks for stopping by my channel again. Today we are poaching eggs and we're gonna make it so simple for you that anyone can do it. In fact, you will no longer be scared to poach an egg ever again. Why? Because I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Up these sleeves. Let's get into it. For some reason, people are so afraid to poach eggs because they think it's going to make nothing but a big mess inside their pot. They're afraid to drop a raw egg in there. They think it's just going to break apart and everything's just going to be utter chaos. Let me tell you, there's a couple tricks that are really going to help you. Once you learn these, you're going to be poaching eggs all of the time. Let's just start. I got the smallest pot that I have in my house. And what I did was I filled it up to the halfway point with water, as you can see. And we're just going to put it on the stove. Turn it up on high and wait for it to boil. I want you to look at what's going on here right now. As you can see, it's starting to steam. It's not quite boiling yet, but the bubbles are starting to form around the bottom of the pan. What you want to make sure with a poached egg is you do not want it to be boiling. You do not want a rolling boil where there's bubbles everywhere flowing up from the bottom. You just want the tiny little bubbles to start popping up like that. Now, here's one of the secrets. I've tried it both ways with and without this ingredient, but I'm gonna show you this ingredient will make it that much better. Vinegar, just regular old white vinegar. Throw in a couple tablespoons. One, two, three, don't worry, you're not gonna taste the vinegar on the eggs. I promise you, this will help keep the egg together while it's in the boiling water so that it doesn't disperse everywhere and get all crappy looking. Now you see the bubbles are starting to pop and come up to the surface a little faster now. So what I'm gonna do is turn down the heat from high down to about just below medium, medium low. Grab your egg, always break it on a flat surface because that way you don't risk getting eggshell into the actual egg. And then you're just gonna break it in here. Drop it in. Second egg goes in. Oops. And away it goes, just like that. Now what you're also gonna do is you're gonna set your timer for exactly three minutes. Timer, one, two, three. If it's a large egg, four minutes. For a medium-sized egg like I have right here, three minutes I find is the perfect time. Your eggs will be perfect. Don't forget, when you wanna get them out of there, get this slotted spoon type of thing so you can get it out there without there being water all around it. Next step is we're gonna toast some bread. Oh crap, my eggs are ready, gotta toast this real quick. Off goes the heat. I'm gonna bring the eggs over here real quick. I'm just gonna show you exactly what I mean. I'm gonna bring the eggs up real close for you here so you can see. Look at this, you just bring them out. Boom, perfectly poached egg. Every single time, the, the no water floating around or nothing. And that's gonna go on our piece of toast once it's toasted. I forgot to actually toast my toast ahead of time, but that's okay. I got so caught up in actually doing the video, but see how? Now the egg dispersed anywhere, it didn't break apart or anything. Perfectly poached, nice and runny. Let's put it on a, a piece of toast, as soon as my toast is done toasting. Yeah, got some of my vegan butter here. That's all I got in my house, I'm sorry. That's what my wife eats and my kids eat because they can't have dairy. And then I got my chili garlic sauce. That's how you kick this up a notch. Very nice, lightly toasted. I prefer real butter. Okay, nicely buttered, there we go, oh yes, right there, and right there, oh yeah, look at that, now, salt and pepper, now I'm going to use this one over here, just because I like these a little better, a little bit of this, boom, 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 a little bit of salt, a little bit of pep, a couple twists of each, depending on how much you like. Now the kicker. Oh yes. 
Oh, chili garlic sauce. I probably go through a bottle of this stuff every two weeks. Like, I, it does not last me very long. I eat a lot of it. Now, grab my fork. Just take like a half a teaspoon. Boom, little dollop on the top. Boom, little dollop on the top. That's gonna change this breakfast. You're going to want to eat this breakfast every single day. That made way too much noise. I apologize. Let's see how nice and runny these are. So there's my product here. Now watch, watch when I break this open. Oh yes. Nice, delicious, runny egg. Watch this, boom, oh yeah. Just like a, it's kind of like, almost like cheese sauce. It's just so smooth and so awesome. And mixed in with the chili garlic sauce, this is the way to do it. All right, so now we gotta eat it in front of you so you can tell that it is actually good. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me because I used to just poach eggs and just put it with a little bit of salt and pepper, but I kid you not, that chili garlic sauce added, unbelievable. Mmm. And again, I'm using my nice thick grainy bread. Really nice. Mmm. Oh my gosh. We just take a moment to appreciate poached eggs. So freaking good. This is the only way I like eggs now. Like I can't do it any other way. Poached or it's nothing. Maybe you like sunny side up, maybe you like over easy, maybe you like basted, whatever. But nothing beats a poached egg. Now you don't have to be afraid of how to do it. You're welcome. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my kitchen. If you like what you saw today, hit the thumbs up. It really helps a lot. Leave a comment down below. I answer every single one of them, I promise. Consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And during this quarantine time, uh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming out, so we'll see you guys next time.